I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. This story follows Agnes who has been found guilty of murdering two people. Basically she's been held in jail for a really long time and now she is being relocated to live on a farm right before she's about to be executed and it turns out that she is actually going back to her hometown where she grew up. The family that she is going to live with isn't very excited that they have a murderer coming to live with them and the only person who seems to want anything to do with her is the reverend that Agnes has requested give her spiritual guidance right before she's about to be executed and this reverend is someone that she has had an encounter with when she was younger. This story all takes place in Iceland in about the 1800s so the names in here are a little bit difficult to wrap your head around but luckily the author who is actually a Australian chose names that are relatively similar to English names. So there's Agnes. Another character in here is named Margaret and uh, the reverend's name is Toti, I believe is how it's pronounced. The story is one of those stories that switches perspectives. So you go between following Agnes, following the Reverend, and following Margaret, who is the mother of the household where Agnes is living now. It was a little bit confusing at first because there's no real explanation of who you are following at any point in time. It's not as if each chapter is designated for a person, but in between a chapter you switch back and forth between the characters and the only indication that you have that you are switching perspectives is that there is a paragraph break and it doesn't tell you which perspective you're switching to so you kind of just have to figure it out based on context clues. Once you get into the story it's pretty easy to figure out because you can tell just based on the point of view of the situation and also you know who they're talking about and how they're speaking about whatever's going on. I really really love this book and I really love this story. Once you get into it you are just completely pulled into the story. This is very much a character driven book. There isn't a whole lot of plot that happens. A lot of what's happening is you are just following Agnes as she gets closer to her execution and you are also trying to find out what actually happened in terms of the murder. Personally I was questioning whether or not Agnes actually committed the crimes that she was accused of. There are two other people who are also convicted alongside her. Part of me was thinking that Agnes might have been framed or something happened where everyone thinks Agnes did it or something like that. I won't say what exactly it all was but by the end of the story you do find out exactly what happened and why it happened and things like that. I just really love the story. It was really beautifully written. It felt like you were just watching the layers get pulled back slowly with each page and you were just seeing more and more of the characters which is just one of my favorite stories to read. I highly highly recommend this book for people, especially if you like literary fiction, if you like character-driven stories, definitely give this one a try. And also, this is just a really beautiful cover. I just love it so much. I gave it a 4 out of 5 on Goodreads. I put it on my favorites. This is probably one of my favorite books that I've read this year and I highly recommend it. If you are someone who is considering picking up this book and wasn't sure about it, pick it up. I think you would like it. So yeah, those are my thoughts on burial rites. If you've read this book, feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you guys thought of it. Or if you have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comment section as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.